I'm Anil Kumar. We are exploring complex numbers and in this video we will learn how to find modulus and argument of a complex number. So let me take up an example. Let's say the complex number z is equals to let's say 2 plus 3i. Okay. So in that case modulus is kind of magnitude. So we write this as modulus of z which gives you the magnitude which is equals to square root of a square plus b square which is 2 square plus 3 square right so that gives you the magnitude and that is what we call modulus uh, let me begin with a general example uh, let's say if we have generally a vector z equals to a plus b i in that case the modulus of this vector will be square root of a square plus b square right the magnitude right that is the modulus and when we talk about the argument then we are saying what is the angle which this makes with the positive real axis that is the argument the angle theta which it makes with the real axis right so that argument could be calculated in different ways uh, we normally represent that argument with letter phi so we say tan phi is equals to ratio of these two b over a and from here we can say phi is equals to tan inverse b over a right or arc 10 b over a one and the same thing you could also find this um, the angle phi using sine and cosine right since uh, the coordinates uh, let's get back to that also our vector z could also be shown on a coordinate plane the complex coordinate plane with coordinates like a and b right so where this is the along the real axis this is along the vertical axis which is the complex one so you could calculate uh, this angle using the modulus of the complex number by writing this as a uh, sine inverse because sine is vertical right sine inverse of uh, b over modulus right modulus or you could also find this as a cos inverse of a the real part over c right so so that could also be a way to find the argument okay so that is in general right so that is in general so any vector in general a plus b i where a is the real part b is the complex part has a magnitude or the modulus which is square root of a square plus b square and whose argument is tan inverse of ratio of b and a it could also be found using sine and cosine correct now let's get back to our example so the example here is is that we have a vector we have a complex number z which is equals to 2 plus 3i we need to find or calculate its its modulus and argument that is what the question is okay we could also represent it on on a on a complex plane let's do that also in parallel so what we have here is 2 is a real part let's say that is 2 and 3 is the complex part so it is along the y-axis okay so that point represents z the complex number so this is the complex number we are talking about right so in this plane what we have here is this axis represents the real numbers and this axis represents the imaginary numbers okay starting with zero so here we have the complex number we need to find this length that length gives us the absolute value of this length gives us the modulus of the complex number how do we find it well easy way is of course using Pythagorean theorem right so if I drop a perpendicular here and make a right triangle as you can see in that case since the complex number is two real parts this is two units three imaginary parts so this length is 2 this is 3 so what is z equals to 2 square plus 3 square right so that is how we get it so this is 3 I mean this is 3 units okay and this one is 2 units 
So that should be 2 square plus 3 square square root. So that is how you get it, right? So let's calculate this value now, which is square root of 4 plus 9 or is equal to square root of 13, right? So that is how you get the modulus. So this is called modulus, right? So let me use the word modulus. Or you can say magnitude of the complex number at times. So modulus, which is represented by these bars. And the variable, which represents the complex number. Correct. Now let's come back to argument. So when we say argument, then we want to know what angle it is making with the real axis. That is what the argument represents. That means we want to know this angle this angle right so this angle normally is written by a letter phi which we used here correct so as we showed this calculation or you can see what is tan phi now from this tan phi is opposite over adjacent side is 3 over 2 and clearly what is phi equals to phi equals to tan inverse of 3 over 2 you can always use the calculator and find answers in in both radians or degrees. So answers could be in radians or degree, okay? So both work fairly well. As I was saying, you could also, since we have already found the modulus, you could also find the angle using sine or cosine. So let's write down what is cos of phi. Cos of phi will be adjacent side over hypotenuse. So it is 2 over 2 over absolute value or the modulus of our complex number. So that gives us phi equals to cos inverse of 2 over absolute value square root of 13. Do you see that? Similarly, we could also find the argument using sine. So we could do sine phi equals to opposite side, which is 3, over the hypotenuse, which is square root of 13 for us, right? So we write square root of 13. So in this case, you could also calculate using sine inverse. So we could do sine inverse of 3 over square root of 13, right? All should give you exactly same answers for the angle, right? So we can check some answers. Let me pull out the calculator and then we'll do this calculation. So let's begin with tan phi, shift tan inverse, I mean shift tan inverse. The value is 3 divided by 2 within brackets. What do we get? 56.3. Okay. So let me write down this angle as 56.3. And I've set it in degrees. Okay. Now let's also calculate using sine or cosine. Let me do with, uh, let's say cosine is here. Okay. 2 divided by square root of 13. Right. So 2 divided by square root of 13. Bracket close cos inverse and that gives us 56.3 exactly same answer right 56.3 degrees it has to give right so you could do with sine cosine or tan but remember to use the correct numbers okay so uh, you could use soca too right i hope you remember soca too right sine is uh, opposite over hypotenuse Cosine is adjacent over hypotenuse and tan is a positive over adjacent. So you could use this just to remember. I hope this video helps us to give us a clear idea of what modulus is, what argument is, and how to find modulus and argument of a given complex number. I'm Anil Kumar. You can always share and subscribe my videos. Thank you and all the best.